the Shakodi Lyonne, St. Joseph, welcome you to our parish and in honor us with your presence. May I please in invite the confirmandi to please stand. Bishop Cordiglione, sponsors and parents, family and friends, the young people you see before you have worked hard this past year preparing for this day. They've studied together, played together, and prayed together. They've attended classes and gone on retreat together to learn more about themselves, our Lord, and our faith which we share. They know what it means to be a disciple of Christ and a person of faith, and they are ready to receive the sacrament of confirmation. I'm proud to present to you the St. Joseph Confirmation Class of 2010. To help others, okay? Which is how we serve him. Okay? And what else have you done? So you you've served in preparing for confirmation, you prayed, you've gotten to closer, uh, greater in your love for the Lord. What else did you do in preparing for confirmation? I just said it at the beginning of my homily. Father Manny said it when he spoke about what you did for confirmation. What else did you do? You studied excellence. So you study so that you can get to know God. Okay, those are the three key elements. God made you to know him, to love him, and to serve him. Is this sounding familiar to some of the well-seasoned Catholics in the assembly? <laughs> yes. This, the answer to this question was drilled into the heart and mind of every Catholic school student up till a generation or two ago. To know him, love him, and serve him in this life so we could be one in the next slide. Got candidates only? <laughs> I know you're anxious to give the answer to those of you who have this drill in your mighty heart. I mean, what did God make us to be? How, how does God want us to be? <laughs> disciples, okay? We're called to be, as, so we're as disciples in this life by knowing him, loving him, and serving him. Because that's the way we're going to be happy. God made us to be happy. He doesn't want us to be sad and miserable. The problem is, we think we have a better idea. God gave us the roadmap of how to be happy. It's knowing him, loving him, and serving him. But all too often, we think we got a better plan. And it's by loving me and serving me and putting me first and doing whatever I feel like doing at the moment that I do it and it doesn't matter what the consequences are to indulge in whatever pleasures and urges I feel to acquire all the money I can even if I do it immorally and to spend it all on myself to wield power over other people so I can be important all that is an illusion all that is it's a deception but 
you're ready to be confirmed and you understand that. Problem is, no one else is going to be telling this other than your community of faith. Everyone else is going to be telling you something different. So to know, love, and serve God. You know him, you already said, you study your faith. You need to continue studying your faith. You just barely scratch the surface, okay? This is not a graduation ceremony. This is the next important step in your faith journey. You have to keep moving forward. You'll never be able to exhaust all there is to learn about our Catholic faith. It's too ancient, it's too rich, and it's too deep to exhaust it all. You need to continue learning it. All, and that's a way of serving God, because sometimes you'll be attacked for what you believe. People attack us actually a lot nowadays for some of our beliefs that are unpopular. You have to be able to defend yourself. But it's not just that. You might find someone in your life, maybe you already have, someone who's searching for God. They didn't have any faith tradition when they were growing up in their family. They know there's a God, but they don't know anything about God or how to find him in their life. If you can explain God to them, if you can share your faith with that person, then you can help that person on the path to what? That's what God wants us to be. Happiness, okay? Because without your faith, you're going to fall into the deception that promises happiness, but it's really a lie, and you're really going to end up being miserable. Okay? So continue to study your faith. Show your love for God by your prayer. Uh, continue to pray. You need to pray every day. You've got to be strong in resisting those false uh, messages out there. Pray especially by worshiping God with his people on Sunday. He gave us a commandment, right? We studied all the commandments, right? So I don't need to ask you that question because you know the answer to the Ten Commandments, right? And the third one is to keep holy Sabbath day, which for us is Sunday. Worshiping with God's people. Okay. It's, a, it's a commandment because he knows what's best for us. He made us. He knows what's best for us. He knows what's wor what works. It helps you to keep God that priority in your life that he has to be you're going to expect God to bless you and to uh, help you find true happiness. Okay. It's also what you're saying by coming forward to be confirmed tonight. You're pledging to live your life as a responsible Catholic without anyone having to tell you what to do because you already know what the right thing is to do. That means you intend to keep holy the Sabbath day, especially by worshiping with God's people. Otherwise, you would be lacking integrity. Okay, think about that. Don't you want people who have authority over you to have integrity? Your teachers, your pastors, your parents, people who serve in public office. You can't expect people to have integrity and insist that they have integrity if you don't 